Scots are dying of drugs overdoses at seven times the rate of other European countries. 485 people died here last year. That's down significantly, though, from the year before. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Reva Alderson, is here with the details. Reva. Jackie, on the face of it, good news. Drug deaths in Scotland are down for the second successive year. In 2010, 485 people died from drug-related causes, uh, mainly overdoses. That's down 11% on the previous year. But it's still seven times the rate of drugs deaths across Europe. Yet even this tragic figure could be higher, just under 700, if deaths from drug-acquired hepatitis C, HIV, AIDS, and contamination of drugs by adulterants like anthrax were taken into account. It's important to know just how many people are dying from drugs so services can be provided to reduce the toll. This is the naloxone kit that is uh, currently making its way into communities. Um, Police officers in Dundee are shown one way to prevent drugs deaths. Attach the needle. They're now carrying naloxone which can counteract the effects of a potentially fatal overdose. It's credited with helping bring down the death figures. Naloxone should really form the backbone of the harm reduction services that, that support people towards recovery that we have in Scotland. Naloxone can be, well naloxone is essential uh, as a, a means to reducing drugs related deaths in Scotland. But drug taking remains a way of life for many people. 55,000 have a problem habit according to official estimates. Although addictions are self-inflicted illness, drugs workers say we must continue to help those affected. Most of those individuals actually uh, have had you know, pretty difficult lives in the past and, and that has led them down the path of, of problematic drug use. So, so sure. I think down the path of, of problematic drug use. So, so I think just to assume that, uh, that this, this is self-inflicted and that uh, we should just allow people to die um, is, is not a society certainly that I would like to, to, uh, to, to live in. Despite the cost to society of the drug problem, the Scottish Government says it won't write anyone off because of their habit. I wouldn't ever uh, want to be standing in front of a television camera saying that people deserve to die because I don't think that's true. Uh, what they need is uh, for us to be in a position to be able to intervene at the earliest possible opportunity but also for the, for the point at which they themselves know they need to change for there to be services available. It's spending a record £26 million on treatment services to help users quit permanently. Well, statisticians say it's too soon to say if this second successive reduction in the drugs death toll is a trend or a blip. But the government says an average 9,000 users are entering treatment each year, Jackie. Rebel, thank you.